Wow, it's amazing. I read something in an article that kind of took me aback. It said, what would you tell yourself 10 years ago if you could? I'm going to ask you all the same thing. If you could write yourself a letter or an email that you would read 10 years ago, what would you say? What would you write? Let me tell you my five things that I would tell myself 10 years ago. Number one, I would say post all the Facebook, Snapchats, uh, Black Planet, everything. Just embrace social media in order to build your social platform. We have Twitter. We got people making money creating their own brands using Twitter. We have people making $100,000 showcasing themselves, their brands on Instagram. People are just being themselves and people are gravitating to people who are genuine. They like it where they're able to see others succeed. I would embrace it instead of being hesitant about it. Number two, I would, instead of investing 5% of my money in the 401k, uh, a lot of times employers will say if you put in 5% of your salary, they will also match your 5%. Uh, I would put in 10% so that, I was a, so that I'm able to build wealth sooner. It's kind of like a snowball effect. If you take a snowball in the winter time in the snow, you take it, you roll it. What happens is you start rolling over time. The snowball gets bigger, right? Exactly. That's the same thing that happens with your money. When you invest it early in the stock market, it starts to compound and compound. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. That's something that I would do. I would invest 10% of my 401k instead of only 5% when I graduated from college. Number three, I would buy the most expensive house that I could afford in an area where the school was ranked a 7, 8, 9, or 10. The reason why is that it could help you create hundreds of thousand dollars in generational wealth early on. When me and my wife, we bought our first house, we were happy. We had our new child on the way, newborn child on the way, bought a house. We didn't think anything about elementary school, middle school, or anything like that. We were just happy to have a house. Fast forward, next thing you know, when it's time for a child to go to middle school, we start realizing that the school that was in our neighborhood was rated a four. Yes, the school was rated a four. Because of that, we decided to move to another location that had a better school ranking to give our child more opportunities to exceed and to excel. Thus, what I'm telling you is, buy a house in the most expensive neighborhood that you can afford at the time because it will pay dividends when you start having children number four number four is what i would say is that be yourself just be yourself enjoy life i wouldn't change anything about my personality or anything like that because that's what makes me unique that's what make michael michael and number five the last one is be thankful. You have to be thankful for everything that happens, good, the bad, the ugly, because if you're able to survive it, you're able to overcome these obstacles, it's going to make you stronger. When you lift weights, you lift up a five pound, it's heavy, but then the resistance, after a while you adapt to the resistance and the weight becomes lighter. That's life. Things happen to help you get stronger. If you like what I said, like down below, subscribe, uh, even send me a message. Tell me, comment below, what would you send yourself 10 years ago?